Hey, Tackle Painter, back out of the suits crafting woodshop. Actually, I'm back out here in my casting shop. Been doing up some casting this week. Um, getting a whole bunch of stuff stabilized. I actually have some items in the pressurization chamber. Vacuumed these pieces of wood out for Ryan McCarthy. Got those going for him right now. And uh, got some. he's got some really lovely pieces. I don't know where he's getting all of his woods, but he's got some gorgeous stuff that he's got going on. In fact, this piece right here, I actually cast this up for him. This is like a red or teal green um, live edge burl that he had me cast up in blue purple red uh, super chameleon powder from solar color dust and then i also put in some white flash crystal dust in there so it's got all sorts of beautiful little sparkles and twinkles and it really captures a nice beautiful appearance in there the red on the top of it actually looks really neat it kind of looks like the surface of mars and then it's got all these little spikes and spines and things that come up there i don't know how well you can see through the side isn't as glossy as the top because I use corrugated plastic in order to do that. Uh, made a custom mold for it. There you can see some of the spikes and things on there. But uh, yeah, it looks really neat and there's just tons of spikes all through it. It's really an awesome blank. I'm so honored to be making stuff up for you, Ryan. This We've done some really cool stuff and this is one of my favorites so, so far. Also, Ryan wanted me to make him some blue dye stabilized maple burl bottle stopper style blanks. So I also dye stabilized these a few days ago. These are maple burl. Uh, I did them in electric blue and they've got some really nice live edge to them. They're really pretty cool. They've got some really good burl to them. And then you can see all the little spines and spears and things on the top there look really awesome. Same goes for this one. These are really sweet. I'm really happy with how these turned out. They're a little tall, I think, for what he was looking for, but I told him I'd cut them down. It'd be no problem. That's some of the stuff we've been doing for Ryan this week. Having a lot of fun. Um, just enjoying getting out and creating and crafting and doing just some non-standard work. You know, you get into a funk you, and you start just doing regular work and and it really feels good to get out and craft and create something that you guys want and enjoy. Last week I was talking about having to get out and do some stabilization because I had run low on some of my regular uh, blanks, my curly maple and my spalted maple burl and spalted maple and I had uh, three river table blanks and I got those finished up this week and they are looking spectacular. I got to get out and do some cleanup on them. Um, right now they're sitting at about seven eighths by seven eighths and I sell them three quarter by three quarter um, but I got to get out and do some cleanup and I tried something new on the video that you guys saw, and I'll throw a link up in the corner um, where I actually created the pen for this. I actually was wedging little pieces of aluminum down in between the crack in order to keep that open. I decided to put a piece of aluminum on the end and then hot glue it in place. And I thought that was a genius idea. I'm not going to be um, having a piece of aluminum inside the crack, and so you have to make sure to cut that portion off so it doesn't end up in your pen. And uh, I decided, you know, I'm just going to hot glue some pieces on the end. I thought it was genius. Turned out to not be so great because what happened is the hot glue floats in the resin. It acted like a PFD, a personal flotation device, you know, a life, say, a life preserver on a boat. And so it actually caused the ends to rise up. So you can see there the wood actually rose up. And I've never had a problem with wood rising up before, but on each one of these blanks, the wood rose up slightly. This one's not as bad, but you can see right there, it still rose up a little bit, sitting up above the resin line. Same for this one. This end right there rose up just a little bit. And then this side stayed down. It's like, I don't I don't know why that happened. It's kind of odd. Um, the only thing I can figure is that the hot glue floats in the resin. That's the only thing I can figure. And so if the hot glue isn't actually sticking to something, that is going to act like a flotation device and it's going to raise that wood up. Now it's not critical because like I said, these are seven eighths inch tall. So I'm going to grind them down and get it all the way down to the wood. And the wood was just a little proud of three quarters of an inch on all of the pieces. And so I can shave that down and get that nice and flush. Um, the only thing is that I have to watch for is that because they rose up, you can see there, the rivers didn't fill in all the way to the top. So that is something to watch out for. If you guys are doing river 
table pen blanks like I showed you how to do. Um, that is something that if you want to try um, gluing a piece of aluminum onto the end in order to keep that river uh, open while you fill it in with resin, I think it's doable. I just think you have to watch how far down you glue in your aluminum. Now on here, this is a blue and green shift blank. So this actually will shift blue to green depending on the angle of light. Since the light's right in front of me, I can't change the angle for you. Um, but if you look inside there, you can actually see there's that piece of aluminum right there. I think if I put it up higher, then it might not bring it to float as much. But it might not matter that much because if you can see, that one is about in the middle. And on the opposite side, it's about in the middle. So I don't know what the problem is. You know, um, I'm gonna do some more testing. It might just come down to the amount of the hot glue that I used caused them to float. So maybe I'll cut back on the amount, just do a couple of dots in order to hold aluminum in place. I've got some testing to do, so we'll see how it turns out. I don't know if anybody's interested in this. I'm gonna throw this up on my Instagram and Facebook accounts and kind of look around and see if anybody has any interest in this. Uh, but often I will mix up too much resin and I'll pour my leftovers into this uh, little jewelry sheet in order to use up that resin into something that's useful. I don't like things to go to waste. I'm very frugal and um, I always you know, mix up really gorgeous colors that I don't wanna go bad and so I'll pour them into these and sometimes I'll, I'll overfill them and they come out really nice. They're really pretty. Um, you know, they'll have little pieces like this that stick out, but you know, they're really awesome. This one just has the leftovers from that block that I poured that was that blue, purple, red in the sparkle. So it's really cool. But you know, I always have these leftovers and I'm not doing anything with them. So I was kind of curious if anybody out there actually wants something like this, I can maybe throw them into like a bundle pack and then you just have to know that one side is going to be pristine, the other side is gonna be domed over a little bit and you might have to do some refinishing, resurfacing, clean it up yourself. Um, but you know, I won't sell them for very much, it'll be cheap. So if you guys have interest in something like that or know somebody who does, share this video with them so that they can come check this out and you guys can see. I'll show you some of the other blanks that I've got. So I've got all sorts of pieces. I've got pieces like this, which are uh, green with silver powder in them. I've got, uh, whoop. I've got this one, which is my cosmic cloud blank. Let's see if we can get focused on that. There we go. You can see that one. That one will shift uh, blue, purple, and red. Um, I've got this one, which is a really beautiful color. This is a deep purple, and I like the shape of it. I think it's really cool. So there's a square, deep purple, really nice shimmer to it, really gorgeous. So I've got all of these different colors and different experiments even, like this one here where I took um, some different colored resins and then poured clear and then mixed in the colors into it. And it's really a neat piece. I really like it. And uh, But I'm not going to do anything with them. So if you guys are interested in this, let me know. If you know somebody that's interested, I've got a ton of these pieces that are just sitting around, not collecting dust because I've got them nicely stored in a box here. But uh, if you guys are interested, know somebody's interested, share this post to them so they can check it out. And then leave me a comments down in the comments section below and then I'll throw them online for you guys to buy in bulk. That's it for today. I just wanted to do just a quick shout out. This is just all we've got going on this week. I've got a lot of stuff to do. I've been called into work because we've got people out sick. It's getting cold, which is why I'm out here in the leather shop instead of the wood shop because I wasn't going to go out to the wood shop where it's nice and chilly right now for just a quick 10 minute video. So thank you so much for joining me out in the shop today. This is Tactical Painter out in the Suits Crafting Casting Shop signing out.